Hello, in this problem we're going to evaluate this indefinite integral. This is a really nice problem. You'll notice that it looks like the bottom um, factors. It also looks like you can make a u substitution. Let's go ahead and start by making a u substitution. So we'll start by letting u be equal to cosine of x. And then notice that du is the derivative. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So negative sine x dx. Good stuff. Now we don't have a negative in our integral, so we'll divide both sides by negative 1 to make it match. So this is now negative du equals sine x dx. Okay, so now we just replace sine x dx with negative du and u with cosine. So this is going to become, I'll leave the negative in, so negative du over, and then it'll be u plus u squared. So now we're in a position where we can use something called partial fractions. And honestly, my first, uh, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, let's pull out the cosines. So you could have done that first, but I thought, you know, let's go ahead and make the u substitution just to get rid of the trig functions for now, and then we'll factor. So let's use partial fractions on this piece. So notice you can pull out the u on the bottom. So this is negative 1 over u parentheses and then 1 plus u. Yeah, there it is. Good stuff. So because we have distinct linear factors, partial fraction says that we just write a constant above each factor. So it's a over u plus and then b over 1 plus u. All right, and let's go ahead and use what's called the uh, cover-up method. So the cover-up method says that to find a, we just look at what's under a. So u is under a. See, what makes that zero? Well, zero makes it zero. So then you come over here to the left-hand side, and you ignore the u, and you plug in zero everywhere else. So it's negative one over 1 plus 0. So that's just negative 1. So a is equal to negative 1. To find b, the same thing. You look at what is under b, so 1 plus u, and you ask yourself, what makes that 0? Well, u equals negative 1 makes it 0. Then you come over here and you cover it up. And you plug in negative 1 everywhere else. So it's negative 1 over. And then this piece here, this u, is going to be your negative 1. So you just get 1. So b is equal to 1. All right, so now we'll go ahead and integrate. So plugging in negative 1, we have the integral of negative 1 over u du. Right, plugging it in to this one here. And then plus then plugging this one in to this one here we have the integral of 1 over 1 plus u going kind of fast but um, I guess you could you could pause it <laughs> I'm running out of time um, um, so these are both really easy integrals you can make u subs this one doesn't require a sub this is negative ln absolute value of u this one you could let w be equal to 1 plus u but then dw is du so there's no need to to show the work there so ln absolute value, 1 plus u, and then plus c. And normally this would be the final answer, but it's not. Oh, no, no, not in this problem. We did some funky stuff at the beginning. There it is. u equals cosine x, the cosine function. So this is negative ln absolute value cosine of x plus ln absolute value 1 plus cosine of x plus c. And that should be the final answer to this awesome problem. You can combine using using properties of logs, but not worth it. I hope this video has helped you in some way. <laughs> Good luck.